I guess I'm just gonna sit on an ascension perk until it becomes possible. Pause. Grab all the fleets, merge them into one, and then send all those fleets here. Sorry, merge first, then send here. Just, just kill their transport fleets. Yeah, they ran away. Apparently, I think I still own the starport. Star system charted. I'm fairly certain I still own the starport. Yeah, because I don't see their fleets anywhere. Their ally can't apparently join them, and Menok blocks them at a strategic location. Star they system charted. Starport big enough to hold them off. So let's try and claim this war goal. Star system charted. And with as much as I've got. Why can't I research get more Titan Beasts? Am I actually un physically unable to produce more? As of right now, in which case that's really sad that I wasted something so beautiful. Just enter orbit, do not land armies. Bombard this into non-existence. I'm assuming this stronghold is the thing that provides the FTL inhibitor. Cold fusion reactor. Uh, do I want hyperdrive three? Gives us subspace sensors, which gives tracking, and we can get the black hole observatory, which I'll actually probably take. Yeah, we'll get the subspace sensors because we can actually make use of those. What's your big fleet look like? Your big fleet doesn't exactly exist. The void clouds are still there, so they can't even leave through Nostrium. Star system charted. They can't leave through here, so they'd have to go all the way around through their allies' territory, giving us some time. How many armies do they have? Too Technology many. Secured. Too many to be for me to care about. So we improve our Corvette's hulls. Yes, get me cruisers. Like, I don't even care anymore. Get me the freaking cruisers. I've, need, I've wanted this technology for a while. It might take 109 months, but it's Star 109 months that are worth it. it. And now we'll sit here, Star system waiting charted. patiently. Try to bomb everything into non-existence. Alright, so they got their science vessel on their way. It would probably be a good idea to invest a bit in engineering. I just need the space for it. Star system charted. Why is my war exhaustion rising? There's nothing else that's occupied on my part. Star system charted. Actually, this is a decent question I got. Could I... They have a garrison strength of 250 versus my forces of 246, but I want to occupy this world first because of the FTL inhibitor so I can go and occupy the system relating to their home world that apparently Star also has an FTL charged. inhibitor in it. This doesn't count as an FTL inhibitor at all, does it? It does not. That's... Right, I need to have an FTL inhibitor on this. No, because I don't have an FTL inhibitor available. So they're just going to bypass the fleet. That's dumb. <sighs> if they're going to bypass it, I at least know it's coming, so we can turn around at some point. This angers me that this takes so long.
Might have to just turn around right here. I want to occupy their stuff, but I might just have to settle for status quo. I'm aware. Technology That's why I'm not secure. doing it. Alright, we can improve our... There's psionic theory. Thank goodness I can finally do it. Cesar, you've got enough stuff where we can actually start building like a small fleet here. In this shipyard, produce some destroyers for me, will you? War declared. On who? I think that's the small ones. It's not the small ones. Ah, bloody have tail inhibitors. Now oh, we blew up the inhibitor. Great. You guys can run back. You also can run back. I can let them retake some of their stuff. We'll build up from there. As of right now, I want to take down their whirling bouquet. I think I'm slightly faster. No, we have both have hyperdrive too. Oh, they're taking casualties. I wasn't building a Corvette. Why did a Corvette Star show up? system charted. <laughs> ah, so close. Come on. Yes, we'll keep the artisan troop going. Can never get enough energy to actually make things worthwhile. No, why did my transport fleet get there first? Alright. Construction. Reclaim the starbase. Turn around. Come back. Bombard and take one of their planets. Production targets. They already announced another update? Jesus. Map the stars, because it costs me nothing. Our God Emperor died again? Yeah. That's what I should probably do. I'm probably going to have to accept status quo. Um, how am I going to split off this fleet? So... If I'm going to split off a portion of the fleet, let's actually just split off a bunch of corvettes. don't want to disband the ship, I just want to like split a section away. So I want to transport the corvettes out into a new section of the fleet. Okay. You two can merge, and then you guys are going to get your own Admiral, who will also be aggressive. And you will be the defense fleet. Star system charted. God, we assumed the DLC wasn't going to be for another couple of months. And then we'll have the main fleet just bombard some of their stuff and actually start occupying. Where's the main fleet again? Oh, whoops. Hang on, we still have a section of the fleet that's not together. Remerge. Do not remerge. What is. No, you are the defense fleet. You both are the main fleet. <sighs> Guess it's gonna be another campaign I'm going to have to terminate, like, immediately. Because of raisins. Star system charted. Like, I want to come back over here, destroy their next fleet, and actually start bombarding things in a non existence. Where's the remainder? 
almost there. Welcome back. We're having a lot of fun, if you couldn't tell. You two hurry up and merge. So that we can actually, you know, build our army up. There we go. 4k fleet. Come through, punch them into non-existence, punch them into submission, and allow me to actually conquer some of their freaking worlds. Anomaly found. You can't research the anomaly, leave it be for now. Oh baby. Oh no, they're just sitting there. Hello, 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 hello. Hello, hello. Kill off some of your transport fleet. Let me... Can, can you, like, reclaim the starbase? Blow that up. There we go. And now that they're bombard. Tactical retreat. Mission and Pat will prohibit us from intervening, but many of our scientists have argued an exception to this case. Back to planet's northern hemisphere with enough force to cause an extinction level event. Ah, well, that is a massive asteroid here. There's nothing over here, so you know what? I'm gonna do this fleet and tell this backup fleet to run over here and detonate this asteroid, will you? Oh, hey, our starbase is actually just bombing this uh, asteroid. It's not enough to actually kill it, but... I know, I'm trying to blow stuff up for you. It's just taking time, and time is something I don't have. Where's our slave army? Slave armies, like, Star get over here. Charted. How many armies do you still have? Plenty. Well, they're out of the only... You can research the anomaly. Enrique of anomalies, as well as fog of war, that's nice. The fleets have entered orbit, and we await their destruction and imminent demise. Right, I forgot combat with was a new thing. Zarok, it's not your fault. It's not your fault that I'm a moron and just completely forgot something like that was happening. Oh, they really hate each other. Uh, do we have access to titanic beasts? No, we don't. No, I don't want slave soldiers. Uh, this is our station. Get me a few, like, get me a destroyer and a corvette, and we'll continue to flesh out the second fleet. Asteroid destroyed. Alright, you guys get back. Character customization aren't the aren't the chaos all covered up so character customization would be useless on them once it comes out. Star system. Oh, charted. for SCP Secret Laboratory? I mean technically yes, but you could also have physical characteristics. That would also matter. An ancient space station of some kind has been located on the edge of the wormoil system. Strong residual substance signature that surrounds the station indicates that it may be a gateway of sorts, part of a theoretical network of similar stations, assuming this is a gateway. The current state of disrepair has rendered it unusable. If it could be restored into working order, its owner would potentially be able to access any other functional gateways of the galaxy. Intriguing! Too bad we don't have any gateways nearby. If only there was a way I could reduce my war exhaustion right now. Construction complete. There's been a ton of space battles that have raised war exhaustion on him for a long time. So far, nothing has been helping me, really. You're inferior. I want to... 
to Mad Vassalization. That's only because I keep blowing your stuff up to Kingdom Come. Now, once again, if I had the option, what would be necessary? No, I just don't have the research for it, I presume. Yeah, I'm assuming I just don't have the research for it. But then you wouldn't be able to tell anything apart. Extensive bombardment. We'll get another bit of planetary damage. And now I just get to sit here and wait and hope that I can actually kill them all off. And at least claim one si Well, no, because I can claim this one, I can claim this system immediately afterwards. Oh hey, they're trying to sneak something around. I'm not a big fan of that. Not having an FTL jammer inhibitor is really irritating. We outnumber them so much. But I still think our slaves are considered weak. And this irritates me. Uh, I gotta wait for one more bit of planetary damage and at least one more of those to go down. Where is the hostile fleet located, Menok? Uh, we'll turn around soon enough because Enemy presence exposed. this fleet isn't going to be big enough to stop them. Or is it? So we've been building up more. Merge selected fleets because they get stronger when defending a territory. Cesar Prime, or uh, Cesar Station, could you build me another Corvette? Like, double Corvettes. And then we'll put those into the fleet, and that should be enough. And then maybe we'll be able to actually claim a system. They're down to 200. We are still at mere 260, so I'm not a big fan of the idea of it. Merge, merge, merging the fleets. Merge, 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 merging the fleets. Hey there, buddy. I don't want to investigate fraud. Construction complete. Merging the fleets a little bit more. I want to also bomb Panaxia in non existence. Ah. Uh. Pause. So, you've come in here. This is a grievous error you've made. Okay, we'll just cut you off. Because I want them to engage my much bigger fleet underneath the starbase. And now engage them again. Force them to engage us once more. And we'll continue bombing them. One more bit of explosion and their armies should be dead. Because we've been... Okay. So that's down. I would say go repair, but I... No, I'm fine. Go reload and repair. You're flying aliens randomly in space. Well, occasionally, there's like the flying space whales and otherwise. Okay, yeah, no. Time. It, it's enough. Land the armies. 
Land the armies, come Planetary over here, invasion conquer this. this. I'll tell you this now, they do not look like space whales. Ground invasion force has seized a planet. There we go. How does that not pump up their war exhaustion to an insane degree? Vessels upgraded. Any of that section. Their fleet's going to be dragged in. We occupy yet another section. Then you guys fly in, attack their home world. Uh, this fleet can start bombarding Tool, because I'm going to try to sneak in under the radar of trying to win this war. It's not being bombarded because it has no weapons. That fleet's not enough to actually take anything on in and of itself. So let's just destroy another one of their stations. Zuricorp, well met. You're horrible, disgusting elves, but we don't like you. Alright. Let's start bombing their homeworld. You're nuking Tool, right? Yeah, Tool's getting bombarded. Star system charted. Okay, you're so small it doesn't matter to me. It's gonna take some time. Star system charted. How long is it to achieving the war goals? Wait, there's an unoccupied system? I'm only demanding... What systems am I still demanding? Hmm, relative navy strength... I don't... I'm not surrendering. Like, the most that's going to happen is status quo. And I will restart this war just because I just prosecuted it wrongly. And since this doesn't matter anymore, so it's not like it's going to be Iron Man, I can always just try again. And I will try again in case this screws up, because that was something really stupid that should not have happened so early on in the war. I didn't realize I should have bombarded for that long. And that FTL inhibitors are as awful as they were. Their ally has done nothing to help. Oh baby, new tradition. Uh, you know what I'm gonna do? I would do supremacy, but I'm gonna start going on expansion. And the reason for expansion is I want to start getting the additional... I want to get the tradition cost reduced. That's basically it. Alright, how long is it until this entire section is going to be done? Yes, but they fixed it so the AI can't just flat out cheat in wars anymore, which that was an issue that happened before. Who died? Just a random science vessel. But I do agree, this system of war with the war exhaustion system just ain't fun. And they should fix it so war, either Star war exhaustion shot. just doesn't exist because it seems to punish the player for trying to do something, even though protracted wars are usually a horrible idea. There'll be one defensive army dead soon. I guess the surface is just pockmarked with strongholds, right? No. Light damage to pops will not kill the last eight pops. Okay, no, they just have a ton of warriors on there. Like, can you automate an exploration? Alright, never mind. Uh, you can... Why won't you even give me? Small ion disruptors. 
Research the projects in the system, we might as well learn the secrets of these research projects. Like, we have con- like, we occupy- All the systems that we've gained, we are occupying currently, which is the important bit. You're trying this again? Really? Thankfully, I chose rightly when I said I would go into Penia that way. Because I can just turn around and go after it. They're not RNG, though. Where are you getting that idea where they're RNG? Because I can just select the perks I want, I just have to wait for Psionic Theory in eight months so I can get Mind Over Matter finally. Like, hang on. It is under Traditions. I can access all the Ascension perks I want. The only ones that are forbidden for me are those that require technologies to research. Everything else is just as to be expected. Yeah, just it's always dependent on research. All right, are you gonna go and try to free up one of your systems, or are you just gonna let me bombard your home world some more? Is this finally over and done with? Can I like make a move on their planet? Kind of. Okay, yeah, they're going to try and save it. Well. <laughs> no. We're going to take down your own starport again, as it's just going to trade hands. I don't feel the need to save it every single time. Hello. Wait, what? You guys just passed on by, didn't you? you guys just run? Oh, we're doing this dance, aren't we? That's another fleet gone. And then we'll just go back to bombing their homeworld until they decide to actually do something different. Declared. On who? No one I care about. And back in you go, which means back here we go. I'm streaming for about another hour, although I might just try to prosecute this war because this has been going on long enough and has been quite frankly ridiculous. Land armies! Let's send our secondary fleet to continue bombarding their homeworld. Planetary invasion in progress. Thank you. <sighs> Don't put my war exhaustion up just because Technology they're slave secured. armies. Please no. Star system charted. There we go, we conquered yet another area. All of you get over here to Panaraxia and just enter the orbit. We have psionic theory! Hallelujah! That means we can finally go down the psionic ascension. Oh boy. Uh, we can get the... Sure, we'll get the leader lifespan, because I don't... The leaders have all been dying as of recent, and I kind of don't like that. Traditions! We are going to finally get... Our mind over matter. I know, right? Yes, I'm gonna take mind over matter. Since the dawn of our civilization, tales have flourished of mighty sorcerers wielding powers that can only be described as supernatural in nature. These rare Lollahandrons could supposedly invade the minds of their fellows, lift heavy objects with merely a thought, or perform any number of other magical feats. Until recently, these stories were just that stories. Now, however, our scientists have finally obtained conclusive evidence that proves sonic potential inherent in certain Volahandrin individuals. 
Although only a very small minority of our species as a whole seems to be gifted with psionic powers, the numbers relative to the total population have grown steadily over just the past few centuries. Whether this is due to some kind of sudden evolutionary growth spurt, or because something has triggered the delete in psionic abilities that were always present in our genetic code, scientists cannot say. Alright, where are you guys headed? Fine, you know what, let's just start occupying other systems, because if you're just going to do this, I'm going to pop around, kill off your main system area again. Hulks vivisected. Continue bombing them into non-existence. I want to occupy their planet, but they're not letting me occupy their planet. Yes, another traitor. Well met. Oh my gosh, you look horrific. You are bombing their planet, right? Good. We're not letting up on this. I will restart this war if I lose to war exhaustion, because I should not lose to war exhaustion. Conquer it. Destroy their fleet again. For the umpteenth time, we destroy their fleet. But they don't get punished for this. No, not at all. We'll pop in, conquer this place, make it so they have nowhere else to run to. Black Hole Observatory, and then we'll proc up some advanced combat roles. Now what is this? It's governing ethics attraction. We don't really need it. We're gonna ion disruptors. We have the curators. Well met. Finally, we get the science bros. Receiving communications. Pause. Trade deal. You know what? Sure, I can do that. We can do communications. Occupy their system. Bombard this planet, although that doesn't matter because we're about to hit negative 100 war exhaustion. And I don't think I can change this. So can we not automatically have a negative... Like... I should be winning this, but apparently I'm not. None of my systems are occupied, but my war exhaustion went up immeasurably in the meantime. And I'm just not able to bombard their system yet into submission. We've reached on in at least one of our wars. We'll be four, in 24 months after reaching high war exhaustion. Oh, okay. So it's not an immediate end. I have 24 months to resolve the conflict in my favor. Yes. So 24 months... I tried. Like, our bombing is already indiscriminate. I can't make it any worse. And that's the, like, moderately dumb thing. Okay. They are at 100. Meaning I just need to keep occupying their stuff. Receiving communications. Peace offer. Let's end this war. It's status quo. No. I can sue for that peace whenever I want. And this, I'm just gonna bomb you into non-existence. Because at the very least, I'm just going to make sure that there's nothing they can come back from. Actually, since I have 24 months to do this, I am probably going to... I don't have a slave processing facility there. Um, have, so you're still near enough. Can you build me a few slave armies? It'll take 60 days to produce a few Hulk's slave armies. Vivisected. Star system charted. I should be able to like make use of this stuff. And their garrison strength is only dropping. 
Ah, oh, great. So, under this shipyard, get me like a few more corvettes and a destroyer as well, and we'll put those all together into some lovely bombing run on Panaraxia Prime. That's why they have an assault army here as well. So are we actually bombing their homeworld? I'm building ships explicitly to bomb them. Like, this is starting to... Once this stronghold dies... Following a large period of growing support for the progression of promotion lobby, the hegemony of Pilaria finally embraced the faction, adopting that, so they become pacifistic. It's not us, thankfully, so that's good. We're going to claim the world of Starnut, even if it kills us. The problem is, as long as the FTL inhibitor is up, I can't just shoot my way over to this side. War started then. Can I, like, see how many months I have left? I'm fairly certain I don't have many. Alright, you know what? Turn back. Oh, baby, non-aggression pack broken. Turn around, get to Panaraxia. I need you guys to join the bombardment. I need to get this done faster. Enter orbit. We need the transport fleet to arrive at some point. Construction complete. And after turning around this way, I can actually just pop in and blow them up yet again. I just have to go in through this direction. Star system charted. Oh no, they're taking back their area. They have made peace. Wait, what? Neither side currently occupies the territory claiming this. Status quo results in white peace. Thankfully, that's not our white peace. Because they'll be able to take that area back. Oh, yes. Capacity overload. I was wondering, like, wait, why are we in negative energy? Right. Alright, we've got a ton of bombardment going. No, we're not taking status quo. You will surrender to us. I don't care how exhausted we are of war. Put you all together, merge the fleets. So we have 300 versus 357. We need to just get rid of a little bit more. Who's coming back? There's someone dumb enough to jump into this territory. No, they weren't dumb enough to jump into the... T oh, right. They're taking this area, but I don't care about it. Like, I don't really care about it. Come on. Just a little bit more. Star system charted. <sighs> Can I invade yet? No, we're not enough. We need like two more of these armies to just straight up die. And the assault army might still do enough. It's one defensive army. I don't want it to be even though, I want it to be successful. How big is this fleet? Not big enough. Uh, send the 1.7k and we can go kill this guy off real quick.
Oh, great. Another year's gonna go by. I think we're gonna close in very quickly on the I'm forced to take peace, whether I want it or not. Oh! Seizing hostilities and attempting to open a new diplomatic dialogue between those. We accept this for now. It's status quo. The Glory Initiative. Pause. Hold up. Oh! Okay. They accepted. Two of them. Okay. So... It wasn't the peace I was looking for, but they still were forced to surrender on our terms. Now, of course, this puts me well over my limit to be able to handle this, and there's a ton of unrest on these two planets. Which is why I'm going to test out the sectoring system to see what happens. Now, I'm probably going to, next time we do this, Try again with these forces. It's I'm going to make sure create a new sector. Cause those two just aren't a part of me. In fact, they're basically not a part of my empire. Many resources stationed. Why are you missing energy? So there's a sector. I need to get a sector governor for it. Alright, well, now with a better understanding of what I'm actually doing, we'll probably redo that war next time we do Stellaris. Tonight, however, I think I'm going to end the stream here because I've got to prepare for tomorrow. Because tomorrow is probably going to be a little bit hectic and I'm not even sure things can work out, will work out the way I want them to. So, for right now, this was our little foray into war, and just testing out how things worked. And I will call it a night.